Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a little mini review on my mini iPad. Uh, I want This is going to be a video response to the Twit, uh, most recent Twit uh, friendship bracelets for everybody. And uh, I want to talk to a specific portion of the show. At the very beginning they talk about the iPad mini here and uh, why it doesn't have a retina display and why it's using the A5 processor. So here's my take. Um, if you look at my unboxing video, I mentioned it in there, but I wanted to have another video that really kind of just focuses on that. So the guys on Twit said uh, it's planned obsolescence, planned obsolescence. Yes, I think that is part of it, but I don't think that is the whole story. It's not the whole reason for it. Um, planned obsolescence will give you, will give Apple the ability to add a retina display and add value to it uh, probably next year. My guess is either in the spring. Uh, I don't think they'll wait a full year for the rev on this, but they may. Um, and also a bump up to the A6 or A6X processor uh, to be able to have the phone and the iPad and this all on the same uh, rev cycle. So, yeah, that's part of it, but I think a bigger part of it is right now battery space. Um, I don't think that this has enough battery to run the uh, retina display for 10 hours at a time like the bigger iPad. You have uh, much less, you know, much less battery space, much less space to put the battery in. And the reason the phone works fine for 10 hours is because the screen is much smaller. But when you have a screen that's this size, which is going to be a little hard to see probably, screen that is this size. Um, with a retina display and the A6 processor, uh, I think that pushing the pixels and keeping the screen lit is going to be a big enough problem to where when they tested it out, and I'm sure they did, 10 hours wasn't, they weren't getting 10 hours. They were probably getting six or eight. And the expectation from Apple is if you have an Apple device, you get 10 hours of battery life. iPads, all of the iPads have had 10 hours of battery life. Uh, generally. Uh, the iPod, at least. The iPhones, generally I'm getting 10 hours out of my iPhone 5. So if they put a retina display in this device, go this way because it's easier to see. Uh, if they put a retina display in this device at this point, the battery technology is not good enough, I don't believe, to be able to drive that display and the faster processor for the amount of time that they need it to, to be. And it has to be 10 hours because that's what everybody expects. If they would have gone down to uh, eight hours or even, or terrible case, six, which is still pretty good, uh, I think that a lot of people would have been throwing up their hands and, and acting like the world ended. Uh, the iPads have to have 10 hours of battery life to be able to compete against the other, uh, other devices. So. In my opinion, it's the battery that prevented the retina display. So uh, go ahead and leave a comment in the uh, down below in the doobly doo, and let me know what you think. Uh, was it just Apple doing planned obsolescence, or are they? Was it uh, like I think uh, battery issue? So uh, with that, I'm out. Thank you.